Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. I am Sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. So, in today's video we will discuss about React operating system review and first thought. So, let's get started. React Operating System is a free and open source operating system based on the Windows NT architecture, providing support for existing applications and drivers, and an alternative to the current dominant consumer operating system. Though the operating system is not very much user-friendly, it has powerful options for customizations, which makes it rather a good option to choose. So let's explore it. Now, here you can see it looks like Windows XP. If I go to the My Computer option, here I can see all the available folders inside my computer. And here I can see all the available options and program files just like Windows operating system. Here you have different options. I'll go back to it. And now here you can see React operating system files, bin, configuration, cursors, fonts, notepad. Now here is an amazing thing that is control panel. Let me open it and explore it. Here I can see all the accessibilities I have that I can use with this operating system and you can customize it according to your needs. You can have different options. You can explore it. Now coming towards the administrative tool, device manager and here I can see different options, different actions, different details about this operating system. While well, it is somehow a combination of Linux operating system and Windows operating system because here you can see it is console here. Let's explore a bit of systems detail. Now here you can see all details about the system, computer name, hardware and advanced settings and options. Now here is an amazing thing that is applications manager. So let's explore it. Now in applications manager, there are different categories and different options. You can install applications from here. You can also see and get updates from here. Let's do something. Let's install something. Well, internet and network inside it. I'm going to show you how you can install an application using React operating system Mozilla Thunderbird. Double click on it and here you can see downloading Mozilla Thunderbird. It will take some time. Well, it is not slow. It is working really well. I'm done with installation. Now here I need to set up the mail account. So basically it is working really well. Although its interface looks like Windows XP, but it is giving you a lot of options. You can customize it according to your needs. A good thing about React operating system is it is free operating system and open source. So you can add it. Another important thing here I can see is LibreOffice. I'm downloading it because it is one of the most useful thing that you should have or that everyone use. The best thing is you can install different applications using the application manager and you have different options. You can either search from there or you can either search from here. So let's minimize it and explore it a bit. Click on the start button just like the Windows XP and here you can see different programs, documents, settings and many other options. So let's explore the programs. Now inside the accessories, I have different accessories. Most usable of them are calculator and notepad, wordpad. We have already explored administrative tools. Before working on this operating system, before making this video, I was actually trying to install few applications. So one of them was Mozilla Firefox that I have installed just before creating this video. And this is what I have installed just in front of you guys. Now this is the React OS Explorer and inside it I can get all the details of my operating system. This my computer, my mini computer that you can see here. Let's customize it a bit according to your needs. So here you can see the option property, simply click on it. And now here I have different options screen saver appearance i'll go with appearance option and here i have different visual styles you can select any of 
your favorite style and simply apply it now here you can see how it is looking so it is a customizable operating system you can play with the tools here and make it like whatever you want to make now it looks cool you can also browse for other backgrounds other wallpapers so that is completely up to you now inside settings you can change settings and here i have different color options well i'll go with the true color 24 bit and then apply it the fantastic thing about react os that i have found till now is this application manager it is one of the amazing thing it is a bit slow it will take some time so till then we can explore it a bit further now here you can see all the installed applications that you have already installed and you can also see the updates now inside applications you can see wine get go well react os uses vine and other fast project code extensively to build the components of an operating system around what wine provides like basic application compatibility in user mode conversely wine takes a lot of code from the react operating system and so the two projects coexist now here another question arises whether it is safe to use it or not the simple answer is not yet because react os is an alpha grade software so cannot be depended upon to keep your data safe well there is no doubt that this project is a great idea and is very useful for an alpha but development to reach beta is slow this operating system actually needs more support from developers and companies needs more focus on NTFS development to become a more viable alternative where users move file back and forth between Windows and React operating system. Now inside graphics, we have different options. Now inside video, we have different video players like VLC Media Player, Media Player Classic Home Cinema and two other options as well. For audio, we have different new and some old applications and I'm amazed to see all these applications like Spotify and Audacity in it. Well, that's a very good sign. Now, if I talk about the drivers, then it has NVIDIA display drivers and sound blaster drive for virtual machine wear. Here you can have different libraries. You can install them and you can use them if you are a developer and you are influenced toward development and programming. You have different really cool options as i have changed its display settings so now it looks a bit modern so inside settings i have different options one of them is control panel and i can see the option taskbar and start menu just click on it and here you can see different setting options related to taskbar and start menu you can customize it a bit according to your taste so you can stick for hours and hours in front of this operating system. The best thing about this operating system so far I have is customization. It allows you to customize it. It allows you to edit it. It allows you to modify it. Or it allows you to give the feedback in order to change or make it a more perfect operating system. As you can see, I have changed the time a bit. Now it is showing me the seconds as well. Well, so many people want to know that either they should use the React operating system or not, or is it safe or not? It is useful or not? Well, the answer is so simple because it has not been coded yet. It is clear that React operating system is a community effort you are the part of community if you choose to donate code or document if there is anything you specifically require in react operating system that you can help make it happen you can write specifications create documentations search for suitable FOSS code code it yourself or engage the services of a developer to contribute actual code you could actually raise a bounty if you want something specific done that the simple rule is do it yourself this is the rule for react operating system well my end wordings are this project is no doubt a great idea a great initiative but i think we should wait till the beta version and developers should need more focus on ntfs development to become a more viable alternative and yes exactly it completely replaces the function inside so it can and will work if the rest 
is sort of Windows compatible. Well, it can also run the .exe files. Well, here's another important thing for you to keep in mind that React operating system will run on processors like Intel R, Pentium R x64, Intel Xeon R x64, AMD R Athlon x64, and AMD Op. Tyron in 32-bit mode, but the 64-bit functionality of these processors is not complete currently. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, reach out to us in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.